It is Monday morning and we have a beautiful, bright, sunshiny day. It's almost too bright in here to even sit at my desk. I had to like cover my eyes as I was trying to finish up the last of my video editing this morning. Um, yeah, the kids are off to school already. It is already, what, 9.30 and I am running behind. I actually slept in this morning and didn't wake up till 5.30, so I'm feeling a little behind schedule. I got the kids off to school just fine. I've been working most of the morning on just editing the video, which is a vlog that's going up today. Um, it's taken me forever because this is the past weekend Zoe had a volleyball tournament. So there's a lot of footage to go through. It takes me a long time. But it is finally done. It's almost ready to be uploaded. So I'm very excited about that. And now I need to move on to other things that I need to do. One of which is to clean up my house. The top floor of my house, like mostly kitchen, living room, dining room, is in complete disarray. Partly in because of my fault, partly because of the dogs, and the rest is just, you know, your daily clutter that I haven't been able to pick up for the last couple days because I've been busy. So, um, my living room and my dining room are looking terrible <laughs> right now. Um, half of, most of the mess, I have to confess, is my own because I have stuff out that I think I might use in my dining room, which I'm trying to decorate today. And then plus I've got old stuff from the living room and dining room kind of all mixed together in the dining room and it's spread into the living room. And then the dogs last night were on a tear. They were just going crazy in the house and they pretty much destroyed the living room like couches and slipcover stuff. So slipcovers are half on pillows or somewhat on the couches, mostly on the floor. And yeah, something was de-stuffed. <laughs> so it's just a mess. I'll show you. It's ter pretty terrible. But um, So right now I'm going to get started on cleaning up the living room and dining room so I don't feel overwhelmed. Kitchen can wait. It's not really bad. I can wait till like dinner time. I'll finish that up over there. And then um, what else is happening today? Um, I just need to do, you know, stuff for work on some projects. It's actually tax day today. Um, we got that taken care of, so we don't have to worry about that for today. And then, let's see, I do need to go do some grocery shopping. But I plan to go with my sister, and we're going later today, about noonish. She has an appointment this morning, and then she wants to get to the gym. And I'm being naughty, and I'm not going to the gym with her. <laughs> I should go to the gym, although actually I've been going to the gym with Emily lately. Emily has really gotten into wanting to do weightlifting. I don't know why, she thinks it's fun. So I've been taking her and doing that with her. Well, last week we didn't because I was feeling really funky last week. I was not on my game. I'm feeling kind of like almost sick, but not really sick. And that kind of went away. So I'm very glad about that. But I pretty much took it easy last week. Not really stressing too much about things. Just kind of piddling along and getting stuff done as I could. So I think that helped keep that at bay. Either that or it's a snowstorm that came in and all I've got is like, really bad allergies coming in. But anyways, never mind. So I didn't get to the gym last week with Emily. Things were crazy, so I didn't get there. But we had gone the week before. We got there three days. So we'd like to start that up again this week. So I should technically get to the gym tonight with her after school sometime. So hopefully we can work that in. So she would enjoy that. And then let's see. That is it. That's all that's on the books for today. Other than, you know, normal stuff and getting through the day <laughs> since it's Monday. Uh, yeah, tomorrow might be a little bit busier, but not much. Pretty much this whole week is relatively low-key. Emily has a couple testing days. Um, no, just one this week, which is today. Um, state testing for high schoolers in 11th grade. And then next week she takes her ACT test, so she's been prepping for that. But the rest of the things this week should be low-key until Sunday, which is Easter Sunday, and we're getting together for that. I most likely will be going down either Wednesday or Thursday, possibly Friday, to pick up Mom and bring her up for the weekend, for the Easter weekend. So that is kind of a rundown of my day and the week. All right, so before I let you go, I will show you what my living room and dining room looks like, just like I promised. It's terrible. <laughs>
All right, so this is the living room right now. The couch is tore apart. The table is covered with things that I may use in my dining room, and it's spilled out onto the floor. That's my backpack from when we went to volleyball tournament. You guys still haven't put that away. And on the floor, we got some pillows that are supposed to be on the couch. Some stuffing from something. This couch is completely tore apart by the dogs. And then, like, I even have my hutch doors open, which are never open, because I've been in and out of that sucker quite a bit lately. So that's still open. And then that brings us over here to the dining room, which I'm in the process of decorating right now. I have some stuff taken off of that. So I've got some stuff piled up over there. I have taken the sconces down from over there on either side. And then this right here i got to remove and the little deer head. That's what's left over from Christmas. And then down here on the floor, I've got a Rama laundry basket full of dirty clothes that needs to go to the lot wash. And then we get to the table. Stuff stacked up in front that needs to go on the walls. Clean the clothes, clean laundry. This is old stuff from the last decor, last decor stuff. I don't know what that is, a mixture of stuff. This pile right here is Zoe's stuff. This are the sconces that came off the wall that I used before on the hutch. This is a possible maybe, and the basket maybe, for the new look. This is from the old look. There's some greenery that I just picked up at Hobby Lobby. Don't you just love it? It's so pretty. Hopefully I'm going to work that in, and then more clean clothes to be put away. So yeah. Oh, and then over here, I got my husband's coats piled up, and then there's a scarf, which I haven't used in months, and some towels that are clean that need to be put away. And then a little rainbow who wants to go out on a deck. So yeah, that is my magnificently wonderful living room, dining room right now. So I'm going to get started on... At least getting some of the stuff put away that I can put away. And then I'm going to start working on decorating the living, the dining room. And hopefully I can get that done today. However, it is already, <laughs> already 11.15. So I've got about 45 minutes before my sister is going to show up. And, she's, and we're going to go to all these. So hopefully I can make a dent in what I need to get done before she gets here. Say to your mother in the morning. It sucks. It's dark. It's your mommy. Thank you. <laughs> it sucks that dark butt. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is Tuesday morning and we have another beautiful sunshiny day. It's almost too bright to look at the windows. Oh, I need my sunglasses on in my kitchen. Anyways, um, I don't know what the temperature is going to be like today, but if it's anything like it was yesterday, the snow is going to be melting, and I have a few little patches in my front yard that still need to go away, and then my backyard is about half gone, and that gets more shade though. So, but I'm hoping by the end of the day, today or tomorrow, all the snow will be gone. That would be awesome. So, I am headed out here real quickly to go to Goodwill, because today is their sale day, 
and then I'm going to come home, just a quick little stop out at the store, come home and I'm going to decorate my dining room today. That is my main goal for the day, is to get that done and then I have some other few little things I need to do and then this afternoon when Zoe gets home, um, she wants to go to the Dollar Tree and so we'll probably do that and then she also has volleyball today. So, we've got a busy, busy day ahead of us, so I will check in with you later. Bye. from the Goodwill. I didn't have very good luck today. Didn't find a single thing, but that's all right. Um, that happens sometimes. It's just very disappointing. <laughs> there was a few things that I thought were really cool. Um, one of which was this, um, like a, what do you call it? A strainer that looked really cool. It had some really like chunky handles on it. It looked rather old to me, but it had no markings on it. I had no idea if it was old or if it just had been dishwashed a lot because the handles were sort of fading, do you know what I mean? And it didn't look like Bakelite handles, but it looked similar. So I kind of passed it up because I just didn't know. But it was a nice little baby size, only kind of all this big. Um, I should have got it. I don't know. If, if it's there next week, I may get it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I don't know. There was a lot of things I passed up, which I could have brought home, but I just decided I didn't really need them. So that's just the way of it sometimes. One thing I did do also, though, is stop by my P.O. Box, and I had two wonderful things there waiting for me. I am so excited. I got a letter from, I got a letter and a package. I knew the package was coming, and that's from Noelle. Um, I'm not going to say anybody's last names just for privacy reasons, but you know who you are. <laughs> so I got a package from her, and I'm very excited to open that, so I'll share that with you. And also, I got a letter from Cindy in North Carolina, which is super cool. I think that is so neat that you took the time, Cindy, to write me. It sounds like we have a lot in common, and we both love our dishes and our ironstone. <laughs> so yeah, that was really neat. I really love that you sent me a letter. That is so cool. So I, of course, will try to write you back very soon here. So thank you, Cindy. That was very sweet of you. And I just, it just made my day. So thank you. So that was pretty cool. I thought that was really neat. Um, yeah. Like Jasmine's home. I told her I got a letter. And she's like, oh, you're getting fan mail. I'm like, no, it's not fan mail. It's friend mail. So I thought that, anyways, maybe that's kind of corny. But that's what I feel like. I feel like all my subscribers are like my friends. And I wish every single one of you, like, did your own channel. 
and did like vlogs so I could like get to know you really well. Like I feel like you guys know me and my family pretty well because I don't hide very much. <laughs> I pretty much put it all out there. And um, yeah, I just, it'd be fun to be able to see you guys in real life too because I mean, Cindy's in North Carolina and um, oh, that's funny. Noelle's from South Carolina. Ha! You guys could meet up. That would be fun. Anyways, so I'm going to um, open this box. I know what, I sort of know what's in it from Noelle. She um, contacted me and said she wanted to send me something and I said, well, yes. So I'm excited to check it out and hopefully she'll be okay with me sharing with you. I will obviously ask her first um, before I put it in the, um, the blog, of course, but um, I'm so excited. So I'm going to get this sucker open and I'll show you what she sent me. I don't know how to open these boxes. They're so hard. There we go. Oh, it looks like fun stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay, she just sent me a little card. I'll read that in a little bit. In my on, off, off camera. Oh my goodness, this stuff is so cool. Oh my goodness, she went all out. Look at this. A whole stack of stuff. Oh my goodness. Alright, so the first thing is, oh this is adorable. Oh, it's got little strawberries on it. It's a little, um, what do you call it? It's got like a doily, but it's handmade and it's stitched. It's got the little strawberries and little strawberry vines and it's a little circle. This would be so cute on a table with like some flowers on top of it. Oh, it's so pretty. Somebody knows how to embroider. I cannot embroider that well. <laughs> That's really pretty, I like that. That's really cool. Then this next one has got some more embroidery on it. Oh my, this is interesting. Oh, this one is very pretty. It's peacocks. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. It looks like it might be like, I don't know what you would call it. I guess it's just a table runner. It's like somebody stitched it up. It's got the lace on it. And look at that. It's gorgeous. All the little flowers and then these little colorful bits are all solid embroidery. Wow. That is so pretty. Oh, I love it. So pretty. All right, so got to figure out something to do with that, too. All right, so the next one on the stack. Oh, my God, it's just such a big stack. Oh, this is adorable. A little table runner also. Oh, look at that. Red, red roses. That is so pretty. I hope you can see that. That is gorgeous. And I love that it's on like a cream background. That's so pretty. Very pretty. All right, the next one. Oh my goodness, I think this one so far is my favorite one. It's so tiny and so adorable. Look at this. Oh my, I love this one. The flowers are so pretty. I love that they got the little pops of red. It's got a little bit of blue at the top. And then the side is all hand crocheted. Oh my goodness. That is just gorgeous. I want to try to work that into something right away. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. I keep saying the same thing over and over again. Oh, this one's a dish towel. This is fun. I love dish towels that have hand embroidery on them. This one's adorable. It's got a little cutlery set on it and some other little things. This is an interesting design. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. I like that little design right there. That is so cute. Oh, I can't wait to use this. I'm afraid to use this though because then my family will actually like wipe their hands on it. I don't want to get it dirty. I'll have to like, I should put like a little, um, make a little ladder to put over in my kitchen over here and then hang some of this stuff on it. That would be so cute. I should totally do that. All right. So that was really cute, too. I like that one. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one's a pillowcase. 
Wow, this one's a vintage pillowcase. It's very yellowed, but oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. You see that? I like the colors. It's got the red, the yellows, the blues. So pretty. I love the pillowcase. I love pillowcases. I love vintage pillowcases. I think they are so much fun. All right, so then the next one here, another pillowcase. Ooh, there's two of them. Looks like there's two of them. White pillowcase with this gorgeous yellow. Can you see that? Embroidery on it. Oh my, it's like a basket in the middle. And then it's got um, like greenery stuff off the sides of it. So pretty. And there's two of these. Oh man. I'm getting so spoiled. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, oh, this next one's a blue and white one, which is very cool. And it's another pillowcase. Oh, my goodness, I've never seen one like this before. This is adorable. I would love to stuff this one and just use it on my table. Or on my, not my table. This would be a cute little pillow just, like, what do you call it? Not as a pillowcase, but make it into an actual pillow. Look at that cute little design. Love the blue on that. It's like the perfect blue. And then the back side of it's got like the little flower bunches, I guess you'd call them. But oh, that's so pretty. That's like the perfect color blue for me. I love it. So yeah, I might make that actually into a pillow. That would be so cool. Oh, and then a yellow one. This one's too cool too. I have never seen these patterns before. Another vintage, um, what do you call it? Pillowcase. <gasps> This one's yellow. This one is singing to me right now because I'm in love with yellow right now. Yellow band at the bottom and then a row of yellow roses and like faux embroidery. Oh my goodness. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. <laughs> oh man. Noelle, you know exactly what makes me happy. <laughs> And this looks like a, oh, I thought it was a table runner, but it's another, oh, another pillowcase that has a hand embroidered edge, it looks like, and some, what do you call it? You see that? I'm hoping the sun's not going to wash it out. This is like in a, I don't know, a peachy color, I guess you'd call it. It's got a white embroidery on it, and then it pops a little peach all around and then the peach color matches the trim. Now look at that trim. Isn't that gorgeous? I am so in awe of people who can do this sort of edging on things, the crocheted edging. I do not know how to do it. I have tried. I cannot figure out how to follow a pattern. I don't get it, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> and so, so in awe of people who can do that. Oh my goodness, this next one has embroidery with red on it. Oh man. This one is a pillowcase also. Oh you guys, look at this. This is so me. I don't know if you can see it very well or not though. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. It's like an inch wide. Oh my, that is so pretty. See, I oh, wish I knew how to do that. That is so cool. Love this one. Love that bright, cheerful red. <laughs> Lovely. And then it looks like there's one more here. Is this a pillowcase? No, this is a table runner. Ooh, this one's pretty too. It's got a nice um, lace edge on the side. And then the hand embroidery. Oh, how beautiful. Orange, blues, little pops of green. Ah, it's folding up on me. Look at that. So pretty. I love it. Oh my goodness. You have totally spoiled me. Look at that whole stack. Oh man. <laughs> I'm so excited. So thank you, Noelle. That is awesome. So many things. Uh, you went all out there. That is very generous of you. <laughs> I cannot wait to use these. Oh my goodness. So anyways, I've been babbling here for a long time, but that was very nice of you. Thank you, Noel. 
That is very cool. I can't wait to use those. The peacock one, I just can't get over that one. That one, the red one, the blue one, the yellow ones, they're all just gorgeous. I, I just can't thank you enough. I just, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. And I love them all. And I can't wait to figure out how and where I'm going to use them. Oh my gosh. Now I need to go start brainstorming. <laughs> so anyways, all right. So that is done. So thanks to Noelle and to Cindy. The, uh, you guys are both awesome. You have made my day so much. And I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So I guess I need to now actually go do some work. And I'm really looking forward to that. But yesterday was not a very productive day at all. The day just got away from me and I didn't get much done. So today, I need to have a productive day. So that is my plan. I need to um, film a video and I need to work on my dining room. Those are the two things that I have got to get done today. So I'm going to stop chatting and I'm going to go get my work done. Because pretty soon here I'm going to want to stop and have lunch because I'm already starving. I didn't have breakfast this morning. That was probably a bad move on my part. But, um, yeah. I just didn't want to stop doing what I was doing to eat, so now I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> Alright, so I will check in with you later. Bye now. Good morning everyone it is Friday morning already I have not vlogged I don't think for the last two days the reason why well let's see Wednesday I went down to pick up my mom who lives a couple hours away for Easter so we picked her up my sister and I went down picked her up and brought her home on the way home we ran into this big huge like thunderstorm so we kind of had to like wait it out a little bit because it was too dangerous to be on the roads it was coming down so hard 
So we, it took a little longer than normal. So by the time I got home, it was time to pick up Emily and get to our evening activities. So I just decided that I, was, I didn't need to vlog that day because there really wasn't anything exciting to vlog about. Then the next day, which was Thursday, yesterday, um, I spent the morning with my mom and my sister looking at apartments for my mom. She's thinking about moving up this way in the fall. So we toured a couple apartment complex, and that took pretty much the whole morning. So I got home, had a couple hours, um, well, about an hour and a half or so before I had to pick up Emily, quickly had lunch. So then after I picked up Emily from school, I picked my mom up and along with Zoe, and we went to the thrift store, and then we went to um, one other store called At Home and did a little shopping there, which mom had never been to before. So that was really cool. And she found a rug, an outdoor rug, for only 10 bucks for her deck at home, so she's very excited about that. And some inspiration for her deck. She's going to decorate it in a um, coastal theme this year, so that'll be exciting. Um, that'll be nice. She's got a lot of like seashells and all that kind of stuff, so it'll be a new, new look for her, and she's excited about that. So that was basically yesterday. By the time we got done there, we were rushing back in order to get Zoe dressed and changed and ready for volleyball. We had like 10 minutes, then we got her off to volleyball, and by then I was exhausted for the day. So I did not vlog yesterday either. Um, so now comes Friday morning. The kids are all off to school. I just got a video edited, and now it is just about nine o'clock, which I've been waiting for nine o'clock because Target's pharmacy opens at nine o'clock. So I need to run to Target, get a prescription filled for Jasmine, pick up a few things and then I need to come back here and I need to decorate my living room. I have been meaning to decorate my living room since Monday. I actually started pulling stuff out last week saying I was going to work on it and it never happened and it still hasn't happened this week. So today is the day I need to get it done because I have other plans for other projects to work on for this weekend because next weekend is it going to be a complete dud in the projects department because Zoe has a out of town um, volleyball tournament, which we will go up and spend two days in a hotel. So yeah, we'll be losing next weekend. So this weekend I have to be very productive and to get that to happen, I need to be productive today. <laughs> ah, it's just a domino effect, people. So anyways, I am gonna get that done. I'm gonna get the truck it run done. And then I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna get some work done and I'm hoping to have a very, very productive day. And hopefully I'll be able to take a little bit of video to share with you what I'm doing without really giving away my dining room tour at the same time, which I'm planning to share with you guys all next week. So, all right, I will check in with you later. Bye.